Welcome back to another video. I was actually debating whether I should post a new video this week or not because this week has been really busy and it was quite difficult for me to film anything. Um, I haven't been feeling very well because of the allergy but I decided that I will vlog, just make a short vlog and next week I yeah, I think I should have quite exciting video for you, so I hope you will uh, stay tuned to see that. And today, um, yeah, just enjoy watching. And thank you so much for tuning in today. that I've chosen for new batch of mantas that are here <laughs> in progress. 
um, yeah, they are very nice. I really love them. And as always, there will be one pink manta uh, available. This is the selection. I'm planning on making 10 turquoise ones and then one pink one. And this time I also have little tiny ones for just stud earrings, simple stud little earrings. Very cute design for the summer. So yeah, I have first layer and I'm going to be stamping them next. And then I'm going to sweat solder it onto um, metal sheets. So I'm going to create two layers. Then obviously I'm going to cut it out again. And yeah, a few more steps from <laughs> that point. So I'm really excited for them. Then these ones are in progress too. I'm really excited for this pair of earrings. They, they look like a wooden branch that's been cut in half. So it looks like inside of the wooden branch, honestly. But then these ones just look like, like the ocean, like a body of water. It's really gorgeous. This one will be a pendant necklace and it, this is how it's going to be placed and then I'm going to add three turquoise down below here like this. They will be like dangling like water drops. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's really hard to do that with just one hand. There we go. Yeah. Something like that just to give you an idea. But yeah, this is how this one's going to look like. Then I've got this one. I'm also quite excited for this one. Um, again, quite simple, not many details, but the stones themselves are just really beautiful. It will be like a larger pendant. I am so excited for this one. I don't know if I will be able to let go of it. So I am trying to decide whether I should make it my size. <laughs> This is crazy, but I just absolutely love it. This one's called Malachite. And yeah, I've got a few more. So I'm working on bezels here. I am, um, I'm not even halfway through, to be honest. I only soldered them. Um, now I'm cutting out the ones that I won't be adding any small details. I have a little leaf imprinted on here and leaves on this side, come on, focus on that, on this side too. It's really hard to see it now, but there, there's like a leafy pattern that I've made with these leaf skeletons and rolling mill. So yeah, that's, that's how it was made. And with some of these, I will still be adding some more details. Not big ones, because obviously you see I didn't leave much space but like little silver bowls and like small details like that. With this one, I'm going to add more elements on two sides. This is going to be a ring, this one, really beautiful. And I just see how it's framed with two leaves around it. Um, that was actually the very first design that I had ever made with like that was a bit more than just a stone. I will just put it up here <laughs> for you to see. But yeah, these ones I've already sewn out, but I still have, you know, sanding, a lot of sanding and filing and cleaning to do before it like, it's anywhere near <laughs> what I want. So yeah, that's quite a lot of stuff to do. I've taken few photos of these necklaces. I am so happy with this one, you guys. It's really hard to capture the flash of this moonstone. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. And there's a little bit. Yeah, so this one is really, really cute and I love it. I really, I'm really happy how the moon turned out and I'm happy with these uh, gold field, gold field details. Yeah. <laughs> And this Aurora, second Aurora actually. I am really happy how she turned out. And this Ocean Jasper absolutely looks like, oops, sorry, looks like moon. 
I, I bought it last year at the gem show in Bath and I look at this shine, it's like a druzy. Yeah, so I bought it last year and I was just waiting for the perfect design and I think this one is good. Although I would absolutely see this stone inside of this design too, but yeah. Funny story about this uh, photo tent, actually. When I first got it, I had no idea how to use it. And even though I was learning how to use it, it still wouldn't work for me. And I've almost given it away. I'm really happy that I didn't at the end because I, I kept it. And now it's so great. You guys, if you're looking for a simple option to help you take photos, this is really good, especially for designs like something like this. Um, this way you can have a lot of light, but then you're keeping all of the details. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm not a professional photographer, you know. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going to get back to work now and try to finish as much as possible today. I still have some pending orders, um, made to order items, so I will be finishing those a bit later too. I still have some necklaces, like disc necklaces. Here's part of the discs that I've already made. I'm selling these necklaces on Etsy, but I will be improving them. So I have these like disc necklaces and I also have like silver balls necklaces. They are dainty and really nice for like to layer them, but I will be improving the design because I have an idea how to do it. So yeah, I, will, I really want to do that and then I'm going to show you how they turned out. Okay. I need to update Instagram. Uh, so I took a couple of videos of the designs because I haven't posted any videos yet, um, just photos. And with these designs, it's actually quite hard to show them with just a single photo. So I've taken short videos and I'm posting them now. some people asking about this mask again so this is the mask I'm using it's by GVS I think and it's a size small first one I bought was size medium because I thought this one would be too small but it's actually much much bigger it would cover my whole face so I think this one is a perfect size especially that this um, uh, what is it, like a silicon? 
gummy thing. <laughs> I don't know if gummy is the word. Ugh. Um, but this part here was made with a different material and it was very hard and just not comfortable. So this one is uh, the one I would recommend. Size small. And you can buy separate filters for it. And I don't know. I've, I've been very happy with it. Uh, I don't know why I say I don't know. Because I do know that I've been very happy with it. <laughs> Um, if you're looking for a mask, I think this one was about 25, 29 pounds maybe, but you could always check if maybe it's on sale. Uh, yeah, and I found it on Amazon. But honestly, something similar to this should work for you. Obviously, I know it's not the most comfortable thing, but then your health is more important, so it's best. Ugh. Ah, uh, anyway, so it's best to have something like that. For now, I've been still using the, these like simple uh, protective glasses, but I am going to buy a proper pair of the ones that are um, hardened. Anyway, they are much more safe because nothing can get through the glass. Not that I'm working with anything that would probably shatter this, but. <laughs> I would just feel more comfortable having something that's better quality and also that's not easily scratched because after a while my eyes get really tired from looking through these because even if I clean them they still have these like micro scratches on them and it just makes my eyes very tired. Um, yeah and also there have been questions about my ventilation system. This is my current ventilation system. <laughs> It's just the fact that I work right by these huge balcony doors. <laughs> there you go. So I don't have a like, ventilation system installed. This is a flat that we are renting, that's not our flat. But I am definitely going to have a proper ventilation system once I have my own workshop. So don't worry about that. But again, a well ventilated room is something that's important because you don't want to be breathing these fumes in all the time. Okay. I think I am done for the day here. 
I like to group my work at the end of the day so I know where where I am and where I have to start. So like I mentioned before with these I still have to add um, little details on them so obviously they are still in progress and these are all the ones that I've already cut out, bezels, and I've pre-sanded the edges so now the next step will be to sand and clean the backs. I think most of them will have their backs closed except for this one. I think I'm gonna cut out the back of this one because this gem actually has a really nice back so I would like to expose it. And then I have these little three ones here. So yeah, just cleaning and uh, polishing. Oh no, actually wait, hang on. <laughs> They still need um, jump rings <laughs> to be soldered on. So yeah, I'm going to have to add them onto these ones. And I've kept these on a the side here. Oh my goodness, look at these colors. Wow, I love these gems. I already feel bad <laughs> of letting them go, but yeah gonna have to do that. Anyway, I've got more mantas that I wanted to stamp. I'll see if I have enough time today, but for now I'm going to go and quickly edit this vlog so I have it for tomorrow for you. Well, thanks so much for tuning in today. <laughs> and next week's video I think will be something you will like. It may have something to do with bezels. Right. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.